This week in Newark, organizers are calling it a party with a purpose. But the two-day Count Me In conference is all business. The idea, empower women entrepreneurs by providing the tools and training to help them kick their business venture up to the million dollar level. Senior correspondent Marie Denoy Aronson reports on the high stakes contest. I'm a lawyer by trade with over 15 years of experience in corporate America. And with that experience in 2006, we started Delicious Fight. Alone, on stage, and on the clock, 14 women brought their personal stories about turning their unique entrepreneurial ideas and passion into profit-driven businesses. If I could do almost a million dollars by my second quarter myself, can you imagine what I could learn if you count me in and all of you help me? But they are not here simply to share. They are in it to win it. What is it? Seven grand prizes, seven packages of coaching, business education, access to funding and marketing assistance, essential tools, and the cornerstone of a 10-year-old nonprofit called Count Me In for Women's Economic Independence. Its founder and CEO says her mission is to take one million women-driven businesses to the million-dollar profit mark within the next 10 years. They could do it. They usually just need a couple of things. They don't need like, you know, like business 101. These are women who've been at it for a while. They just need to know how to get unstuck and grow. And that's what we help them with. American Express apparently believes her. It's given Count Me In thousands of dollars. Only 3% of women-owned businesses hit a million dollars in revenue, while 6% of male-owned businesses achieve that goal. And what we want to do is provide women with the support and the coaching and the mentoring that they need to feel empowered to actually grow. To be in the Make Mine a Million Dollar business, you must be in business at least two years, be 50% woman-owned, be earning at least $180,000 a year, and be ready to make a compelling pitch on stage before a live audience. Which brings us back to the stage and those 14 contest finalists. I know I can reach my goal of a million dollars in revenue by 2012. So please vote for AVS. Jeanette Latour owns Aunt Jean's Toys and Treats in Montclair. What would it mean to you to win today? Wow, it would just mean the world in regards to their, their coaching. They have expert, expert coaching. They have uh, access to financial loans and, you know, investors that I probably wouldn't be able to, to touch. It would be fabulous. Uh, like many of these people, I have a great business idea. I've got a proven strategy, but I really could use some leverage and help getting it to the next level. And Make Mine a Million would take my business to multi-millions. How proven is the power of this prize? Sandy Webster's Newark-based marketing consulting firm won in 2006. She's made it to the cover of Money Magazine. Before I entered this contest, I was at 350000 in revenue. And the same year, I went to over a million dollars. And that was all because of the coaching that I got, the support from all the women in the group. And now, the moment they've all been waiting for. Seven winners, one from New Jersey. Audrey Storch. And if this organization's track record holds, Audrey Storch's hugs to go will be a business to watch. Marie Denoya Aronson, NJN News, Newark.